What's up guys and welcome to some Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign is what we're going to be covering in this series. We're going to be jumping into some online as well. Uh, I'm going to go pretty in depth with it like I did the last game. So if you guys would be so kind as to subscribe and press that thumbs up button, it would definitely go a long way. Uh, I don't have much expectations or hope for the campaign. I feel like it was probably just a tack on since a lot of people complained that there was no uh, real offline gameplay the last time around. Uh, I have spent the weekend playing some of the online, and I gotta say, I really enjoy it so far. Uh, the predatory microtransaction system is obnoxious. Even though microtransactions are gone for right now, it's pretty obnoxious still to this date. Basically, to unlock anything, you're gonna have to kind of, kind of uh, work at it. I would say. So, but anyway, we're going to be jumping to the campaign as I slur all my words together. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. I will be checking out the arcade as well, but that will go along with the multiplayer's uh, series. So, like I said, look forward to that, and let's just jump right into this campaign. Play campaign, yes. Uh, two soldier. Explorer, focus on... Okay, so we got three difficulties. We're just going to play on the medium difficulty, and uh, we'll see how she goes. Load screens have been pretty bad so far, I will admit that. But for the online, I, I think gameplay-wise, it's pretty on par with the first one. I think this game's just gotten a ton of heat because of its microtransaction system, which is incredibly obnoxious, to say the least. So, I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll look into, it. hopefully, the microtransaction stuff. We'll kind of stop because, like I said, it's pretty obnoxious how they have the system. But I'll be going over that more in the online series. Captain, she's highly trained. Deception, infiltration, extraction. She's special forces. Hide in Versio. Inferno Squad. Commander Versio. He must be important. Look at me. So let's talk facts. That's what I'm here for. You have the activation code. I've got the ability to help you out. Just give me the code. You know we can really use someone like you. Just help me and I'll help you. It's that easy. I'm gonna get what I want eventually. My best technicians are slicing into your droid right now. Take on my offer. All I want is the code. The Empire's time has come. And you don't have to go down with it. You're right. The Empire's time has come. VZ-626. VZ-626. What have we here? An ID-10 tactical droid. You were way more advanced than the ID-9. Slicing into you is not going to be easy. Might I suggest a less invasive procedure? Wish I could, but we don't have the droid's access code. Might I suggest finding the access code? The captain's working on that in the detention center. Until then, the only way to access this droid's data is to pry the memory core out of its shell. Analysis shows this ID-10 has been modified with an electroshock problem. Which can- Get zapped, son. Oh, that's what's up. Execute the plan. Download the ship's schematics from their computers and come find me. 
Okay. There you are. Use the ventilation system to reach me. Where's the ventilation system? Up here. All right then. I didn't expect to kind of start this game off playing as a droid, but hey, you know. I'm not sure what the point of having an electric shock field and events for is, but hey, you know. Whatevs. Stealth. Detection meter shows if rebels are growing. We're in as present when it flashes. Enter. They enter full alert. Hey, Does this have to recharge or something? Look out for that boy! <laughs> All they gotta do is hit you once, huh? So how do you recharge then? Return to game. How do you go down? Well, so that thing's really loud. Like, I feel like they would have, like, figured this out. By now. Like, they would have heard. Like, hey. I keep hearing this thing. I don't know, the droid's kind of weird to operate, I gotta say. Wow. Okay, well, <laughs> just gliding on by. Very unaware rebels. I don't know the time period this takes place. Off the top of my head, I don't remember. Did she say I can hear you in the vents? Is there a way to like attack people though?
Yeah, there is a takedown. Oh, they didn't give us a gun. No. Lame. Droid shock. Shock enemies when the meter is full. Aim properly. It can take down disabled vehicles. When Eden, Iden, I don't know, damages enemies or performs headshots and self takedowns, the meters refill. I still feel like it's probably a good idea to pick up pick up a gun. To be fair, we're operating outside protocol. We should have just blown up this ship. Would have raised too many questions. But this to work needs to be sunk. I understand, Commander. Ooh crap. By now, you are aware of the beacon directing Orion ships to the Galan system. With this ruse, we will divert the Empire's attention away from Solus. The rebels still think we don't know about Sullus. <laughs> they have no idea what's waiting for them at Endor. We need to keep it that way. Hello, gun. Don't mind if I do. Everything will fall apart. We are going to play this game in first person. Uh, that's the way I play online. And that's just the way I like to play this game. I like first person over third person. And that's just... All right, let's take you out. I don't know what this is, but I'm curious now. You're up. Career check, milestones, progress. Right, get wrecked. I'm never a fan of games that make you start off playing stealthy. It's like just let me kill people. Scan for me. Oh yeah, good scan. Can we check on that imperial transmission again? We're almost out of time. I got yelled at last time. I'm not going back in there. Shot that spot. I've reached the communication center. Deleting the message will trigger their alarm. Be ready for extraction. Oh, we're gonna go out with the blaze of glory, though. Slice this. Which I am completely okay with. For the last time, please stop interrupting me. Imperial encrypt. I've located the encryption. How is that for an interruption? <laughs> Smash the dude's head in. Purge complete. There's nothing for the rebels to learn. Agent task. It's time. Beginning preparations. Oh yeah. I'll secure a blaster and reach the extraction point. I'm on the move. So is the Corvus. Oh yeah, I'm locked inside. Yeah, sure, I'm locked in. We're locked. Yeah, we got you locked in. You're locked in here with me. Ah, oh, that was annoying.
say, man, you want to rock the truck. Oh, I'm supposed to go down this way. Okay. Here I was about ready to run the wrong way. Door panels. Shoot door panels to close it. I'll say door panel gotta open first. shut doors apparently I didn't see a control panel back here to actually shut it yes please line up for me and I imagine this game's probably gonna get harder as it goes on or at least I kind of hope it is Because as of right now, it's really freaking easy. Okay, I guess it doesn't matter. I already sent you over there. Wow, really? Looks like you're still second in command. Oh, I'm patient. I can wait. Agent Miko, those jump calculations were perfect. Thank you, ma'am. Hope the landing wasn't too rough. Been through worse. Remember the job S incursion? Still haunts my dreams. Contact the Admiral. Yes, Commander. And the message? The fleet's location is still safe. Today, the rebellion died.
controversial. Report. We have eyes on a rebel recovery team, Admiral, but we're too late to capture the saboteurs. What's the status of the Death Star shield generator? Worse than expected. There's no way to repair or reactivate. Then our battle station is vulnerable. Eliminate the rebels and return to the Corvus. The Empress plan must not fail. Yes, sir. Agent Hask with me. Agent Miko, cover us from here. One target, dead ahead. Follow my lead. 